Good morning. Good morning. Our gathering hymn this morning is number 453. 453, Be Not Afraid. 453. Our gathering hymn number 453, Be Not Afraid. You shall cross a barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far and safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, 
grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see the clouds rising in the west, you say immediately that it's going to rain, or so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say, that is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky, and why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn to you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into the prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. We reflect today especially on unity amidst all the division and all the differences. As what is said, we should be united in our own way of understanding the mission 
though our charisms, talents, and our own capacities varies, but all in all, everything goes to the mission of the loving Lord. That's we also have to discern the spirit. As we always know, we are all given and bestowed with freedom of choice. But this choice and freedom that we exercise must always be rooted towards the good, towards what our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Well, in our gospel today, Jesus continued to enlighten, especially the Pharisees and all his disciples, amidst the many divisions surrounding them and all the conflicts that sometimes Jesus encounters with many people, especially to those who are so particular with the law. Jesus continue also to enlighten us in the present time for all of us to know and meaning and interpret the signs of our times. That is why in the Second Vatican Council, all of us are given the discernment that we need to interpret and know the signs of our present time. For all of that, we need to see, we need to act, and we need to deliver what the loving Lord are wanting us to do to become responsible disciples. In Jesus' time, people would predict the weather by direction of the wind. Jesus invited them to read the present time to know where God is leading them. May we turn and be sensitive to the signs of the times. May the spread of the virus, the big fires, and other natural disasters remind us that nature is forcing us to clean up the mess that we ourselves have made and to stop abusing the environment. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May our sense of helplessness before a pandemic make us realize the vulnerability of our being human and that we are all in the same boat, rich and poor alike. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May we realize that our best protection is God that our best refuge is our home, and our best company is our family. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. May we realize that our heroes and saviors are not the gods of money, fame, and politics, but ordinary people who serve and even offer their lives at a time of great need. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. May we realize that time can be short and we have to be ready to make an account of our lives to the Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Isabel Tillotson, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, our God, we are part of a whole fragile, vulnerable, and yet beautiful world. Have us to go back to the basic and to the essentials, to the peace of our soul. May God us so are you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Our offertory hymn is number 425, 425, Humbly, Lord, we worship you. Humbly, Lord, we worship you, our eternal King. You who died to give us life, Hear us as we sing. Jesus, Lord and Lord of all, come to us, we pray. Thus united in your love, may we live this day. Jesus, 
us, Lord, we hope for you every darkest day. May we live our love for you and your will obey. Jesus, Lord, and Lord, oh, come to us, we pray. Thus united in your love, may we live this day. Lord, forgive us all our faults, others we forgive. May we strive with all our souls, Christian life to live. Jesus, God and Lord of all, come to us, we pray. Thus united in your love, may we live this day. Pray with the brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from the unending death, and by rising from the dead, he has given us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Judas in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, and Barry, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await a blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
تبارک و
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from the participation in the heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our holy mass has been offered. We may go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 424. 424, there is a longing. There is a longing in our hearts, O Lord, for you to reveal your stuff to us. There is a longing in our hearts for love. We only find in you, our God. For justice, for freedom, for mercy, hear our prayer. In sorrow, in grief, be near, hear our prayer. 